Hello, I'm Michelle Paver and I wrote Wakenhurst, which has just been published. Wakenhurst is a quintessentially gothic novel. That means an inhuman something from the past erupting into and threatening the characters in a remote, isolated setting. Wakenhurst is set in the early 1900s in an isolated manor house in the Fens, the last remaining stretch of the ancient marshlands which once drowned most of eastern England. The heroine, Maud, is a young upper-class girl whose life is dominated by her father. He's fanatically religious. He actually hates women, but he's secretly haunted by guilt. We don't know why. And one day in the local graveyard, he finds the remains of a medieval painting, devils dragging sinners into hell. His guilt starts to surface. Maud's life becomes a battle of wills with her father. Is he going mad? Or is there really something inhuman out there in the fens? The bones of the story came to me in just a few weeks and completely by chance, which actually, when you think about it, is pretty gothic. I was in a second-hand bookshop and I found a book written by a medieval mystic called Marjorie Kemp. And she's just so weird that I knew I had to use her. Then I went to an exhibition of paintings by a mad Victorian artist called Richard Dadd. And he painted the most incredibly strange, very detailed pictures of fantastic creatures. And he did all this in an asylum after he'd murdered his father with an axe. But what really sparked the story was when I read about the remains of a medieval painting of devils dragging sinners into hell, which had been found in the 1890s in a churchyard in an isolated country church. And as soon as I read this, I had a very strong image of a man standing in a graveyard in long grass, looking down and a painted medieval devil staring back at him. Well, that rich brew came together and became Wakenhurst. You can either read it as a tale of murderous obsession, a descent into madness, or you can read it as a story of demonic possession. It's up to you. Either way, I think it's the best thing I've ever written, and I really hope you enjoy it.